Hey everybody, one here from Language Academy, guys. Welcome back to another video. This video is going to be special. We are going to look at read aloud one line strategy. We already had a video on this earlier on YouTube, but due to some reasons, it was deleted. Around 80 of our videos were deleted. Why PSN does not allow us anymore for us to show their website or to take mock test on their website and post it on YouTube due to their confidential reasons that we cannot show the mock test and everything on our YouTube channel. So we deleted, um, we complied and we deleted 80 videos. But in this video, what I'll be doing is I'll be telling you each and everything about read aloud strategy. Is it working? Should you use it? When you should use it? How many words you have to speak? And how you have to get full points in your reading and your speaking? I'll be showing it to you on our website and we'll tell you more details. Now, very first thing, what is read aloud one line strategy and who is it for? This strategy is for students who struggle when it comes to read aloud. They find it very difficult to speak or read the full text on the screen due to, due to pronunciation is, issues or due to fluency issues. Students who are finding extremely hard to read aloud or read the full text on the screen, they must go with one line strategy. It is working. We advise all our students to use one line strategy. However, there are a few things you need to follow. If you just follow it the wrong way, you're not going to get the scores. But if you follow it the right way, 120% you're going to get the scores. What, uh, what about students who find read aloud reading everything properly and reading the text full? Go with it. Don't even watch this video. Just follow what you're doing. But if you do struggle with read aloud, do follow this strategy. Now, what you have to do in this strategy? Normally, when you get the text on your screen, it is around 40, 45 words. You have to read each and every word. But using this one line hack, shortcut, or trick, you can say, what you have to do, you don't have to read the full text. You have to just read 8 to 10 words, maximum 12 words, and click next. You'll get full points in fluency, full in pronunciation, and full in content as well. This is a bit, um, you know, bit astonishing i'll say a bit surprising or a bit shocking that how is it even gonna work but i have taken the actual exam using one line strategy many of our students have taken the exam using one line strategy and have got 90 i have got 19 four modules using one line strategy this strategy is not going to work on any of the portals not on our portal not on any other website you practice but this will work on the official pearson website if you, I'll tell you how you have to use and how you have to take mock tests on the website and how you have to test if it's working for you. First of all, I'll share my screen. I'll tell you what you have to do in the strategy and then we'll go from there, right? I hope you can see my screen. Now, let's say if you get this text on your screen, right? Let's say if you get this text on your screen. So instead of reading the full thing, let's say I find this word difficult. I know if I'll speak this word, I'll run out of breath. What you have to do is you have to speak minimum eight, maximum 12 words, but you have to speak clearly and fluently. Anywhere between eight to 12 words together in a flow, don't rush, speak clearly. For example, electric vehicles have arrived with technology led by Tesla and click the next button. Surprising, but it does works. I'll move on to the next one, show you a bit more about this. All right, let's say if you get this particular passage, right? Let's say if you get this particular passage. I find this word difficult. It's not mandatory that you have to start from here. You can start anywhere, but you have to speak um, in, a, in the right sequence. It's not that you speak two words here, three words here, and so on. So let's say if you start from here, you have to speak minimum of, minimum of eight, maximum of 12 words from here is a way of attempting to change the amount of precipitation. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I'll just stop here because I find this word difficult. Is a way of attempting to change the amount. That's all, that's all you have to do. Many of you will be thinking, how are we even going to get full points in content if we are not reading the full content? What I have figured out, what PT is looking for. For your content score, PT is not looking for this pt is not looking for um total content is not calculated this way total words spoken divided by total words on the screen 
So let's say you have spoken eight words and total words are on the screen by 60. That is not how your content is calculated in speaking as far as I have concluded taking the exam again and again, getting 90 using online strategy in the official Pearson mock test and on, in the actual exam as well. How they are calculating content? Total words. spoken correctly divided by total words spoken so let's say if you're speaking eight words and you're speaking seven words correctly for example so this is your content score this is why your read aloud one line strategy is working but let's say if you are reading eight words and you're speaking four words correctly four incorrect this is not going to work you have to speak all the words clearly correctly and you don't have to rush for example I find this word difficult seeding. I'll start from here. A form of weather modification is a way of attempting. That's it. Minimum eight words, maximum 12 words, and you'll be 100% fine. Again, this strategy is for students who struggle with read aloud. If you're reading the full text properly, go with it. You can still get 90 using that. But if you find read aloud difficult, if you're not getting your scores in speaking and reading, means your read aloud is an issue, go with this strategy. I'll just do another one just to show you how it works. You have to make sure you're very clear where you have to um, start from. Let's say from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just keep your mouse over here so that you don't get confused while you're reading. As soon as your recording starts, our speculation is that this is some kind of trade-off. That's it. Clear. Don't, don't do it this way. Our speculation is that this is some kind of trade-off. No, don't rush at a moderate pace as clearly as possible and you'll be 100% fine. Now, once you have practiced using this strategy, right, and you are still confused whether this is going to work or not, what you can do is you can go on Pearson's official website, take a mock test over there. That is a paid mock test. You can take a mock test whereby make sure you have proper headphones, a headphone with external microphone, a good internet connection and a computer, which is a bit fast, not a very slow one or old one that can create a lot of issues. Make sure you have the setup ready. Take official Pearson mock test. It is going to cost you around 49 Australian dollars, I think, somewhere around 35 USD. And use one line strategy over there. Attempt your speaking part and skip everything. If you get 80 plus in speaking and around 30 in reading, means one line strategy is working. It is giving you full points in speaking and full points in reading. If you're still not getting it, you're not confident, go with full one. But this strategy has proved very beneficial for students who used to struggle with read aloud who used to struggle with speaking i'm telling again and again this sounds a bit weird that i you know if someone would have told me i wouldn't have believed it but taking the test having a lot of students who have got 90 and i can confidently say that this is still working in 2023 and you can follow it just make sure 8 to 12 words clearly confidently and don't mix both the strategies it's not that in one passage if you're, you're reading full in the other one you can read one and that can work but i don't want you to follow it because you'll be confused it will not be clear to you what strategy you have to follow before you go for the test test it should be very clear what you have to do and what all you are supposed to follow i don't really want you to go and think over there you have to read full or one line just take one strategy stick with it and go for the test nail it that's it from this video, Varun from Language Academy. If you do have any doubts, do let me know in the comment section. If you need any help, let me know. I'll try to make a video on that. If you need any classes or any help, you can contact us on any of these numbers. We have branches in Australia, India, and we do provide online classes. Lastly, to practice, go on languageacademy.com.au. I'm telling you again and again, online strategy will not work on any of the portals, but it will work on official Pearson website in the actual PT test as well, which I have tried. And to practice, you can download LAPT exam practice app as well. Practice questions, see what score you're getting, how you have to improve, and all other things you need to crack your test. But from Language Academy, I'll see you very soon. Till then, take care and stay safe. And please like, share, and subscribe, and press the bell icon as well. I am giving my 100% to make sure you get your desired scores. And if you ever get your desired scores, watch my videos. Do let me know. That is my motivation. That is what I work for, and that will help me going on. I'll see you very soon. Till then, take care and stay safe.